I'm back. Okay. And uh, this will be fun in the edit because I think we're going to have to wrap up soon uh, because lunch is calling. But uh, I do want to actually try out the Docker image. So we're going to do that before anything else. And uh, we won't get to the step functions today and in actually implementing it. Uh, but you can imagine that what I would do is I would come over here to code. And here's our, uh, our J, uh, JSON of the step function. So I would take this, I would put it in a file, I would add in parameters for like the table names and those sorts of things. And then I'd use Pulumi to deploy it. Uh, and that's, that's that in a nutshell. And I'm gonna actually start that right now by just pasting this over here. Uh, so that'll be for later. But for now, what I wanna do is I want to update this job and see what happens if we run it. Um, so I think one thing I can do is I can make sure that the parameters in here are in fact the right parameters. I'm gonna call this test two. Um, so we don't want the command override. The environment variables are fine. Yeah, it does use Docker under the hood. Um, but, but, but. So initial prompts, it's just going to be testing. That won't be confusing to the model at all. Uh, here, lurky boy, writing brute force scripts to attempt to break UA. Uh, as you do, as you do. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to, let me go to the DynamoDP table here. We'll look at something recent. This one should be good. Uh, so the key is this. And so that's the item key that defines the, like the DynamoDB item. And then the, the actual, what's it called? The input key is the actual, where the audio file is in S3 in languages EM. Uh, so that should be fine. There we go. So those parameters will get filled in. See how that works. And uh, this, this should be pretty cool because what we can do is we can look at um, some of the things behind the scenes that are happening here. So like what we should see is in compute resources for the compute environment, it has desired vCPUs. And then if I hop over to EC2, I should see a spot request eventually. How long does it, oh, there we go. <laughs> Not that long. Uh, okay, so one time request, uh, terminate when you know, it's over. Uh, this will be in US West 2A, so in Oregon. Uh, max price, 52 cents per hour. Um, that's not the actual price, that's like how much it... Uh, basically, I think the way that I have this configured, the max price will be the normal price for this size instance, but we will get a price that is potentially lower than that. Uh, so we can see that is active and fulfilled. So we should be able to see an instance running over here. There we go. So this is our uh, G4DN extra large. It's starting. It's initializing. And then if we look over here at the, there we go. So we can see the job is now starting the job configuration stuff, and then we'll be able to see container info. Um, so here is, here's the command line it's gonna run. So it's it's interpolating the parameters into the command line. Um, and we should see, there we go, instance is running. It won't be running for that long. Uh, system check uh, status checks are initializing. Still, that will take a minute. That is the kind of the flip side of this, right? Versus using something like Lambda, 
um, a lambda out of the blue. So lambdas aren't perfect either. So if you have a lambda and you have not executed that lambda at all for, um, let's say several weeks, potentially there may be some time before that lambda is up and available, especially if it's associated to, um, at least in, in my experience, especially if it's associated with a VPC, like it has an Elastic Network interface connected to a VPC, it can take a significant amount of time to like minutes to uh, become available. And you'll get an error when trying to run it. Um, this takes a little bit longer. We're gonna spin up an EC2 instance. Um, I wonder if we can see how much this is actually costing us here. Let me see pricing history. Uh, let's see. Type, so uh, was it GD, G, D, something, something? R, M, what was our instance type? G4DN. G4DN X large. So you can see the on-demand price is that 52 cents and the spot price is, you know, 17 to 20 cents. So better than a half off discount, depending on availability zone in this region. 67% savings. Uh, which is why I wanna do this because there's not really a rush to like do this processing other than right now, because this is keeping me from lunch. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, so th this is going to work. I don't know how long this is honestly going to take, um, but I will post a screenshot in the Discord when this is finished, how about that? And uh, what we'll do is we'll wrap things up here for now. Uh, and I think it will finally be time to start pulling some of these th things together. I s I'm hoping I might have a few free minutes to kind of move forward on testing how to do this through Pulumi, the step function stuff, um, in between, you know, work and, uh, video games. But, uh, yeah, I think this has been a productive session nonetheless. And uh, we're gonna kick off a raid uh, as we do. So who are we gonna raid?